Uh, that, that's two. It's, it's but a flesh wound. It's two impalements, I believe, for him. And of course, if you uh, Bruce, do a mission okay? and come back, his body's gone. I know this. Yeah, the sword's right. around there. Rachel Ghoul was the power behind Hugo Strange. Yeah. This whole place was part of his plan. You're kidding. Where's he now? Let's just say he's going to need a trip to a Lazarus pit. Hello? And notice he says a Lazarus pit. There's multiple. I'll get back to you. Something's come up. Hello, Batman. I know you can hear me. I've not caught you at a bad time, have I? I was worried that you may have forgotten about little old me. Take a look at your girlfriend, who, as you yep. can see, is in danger of having a pretty little brain splattered all over this camera. <laughs> Ignore him, beloved. Let him die. Beloved. Oh, how romantic. Only problem is, I've never felt better. Wonder and why. we both know you really can't Stop ignore him. me. Can you? But he still does that. So listen, Batman. Hmm? He's cute. Yeah, because he's got the immortality stuff in her blood as well. She's also been in the pit many times. I think she's also like a few hundred years old. She's Cradle Robin going after Batman. <laughs> All right. Wonder where he is. Following the tracker. In. Following this tracker makes me wonder um, exactly how much the Joker does know about Batman's origin. Because it's mentioned, you know, he doesn't care about Bruce Wayne. He doesn't care at all. But he's in the Monarch Theater, which is the theater, the alley behind which that theater where Bruce Wayne's parents where were killed. Are you? That's where Batman was born, essentially. And, you know, you have to wonder if Joker chose this location strategically for that purpose, or if he just wanted to be on a stage. I think it's a stage. But the, yeah, you, have, you can't help but notice the coincidences. Uh, just the convenience. Yeah, and the smoke pellet actually doesn't help too terribly much with the snipers because they can see through it. Yeah, you, you kind of have to be sneaky in this portion, or else you'll get uh, about 7,000 sniper rounds to the face. You have to be really strategic about like which ones are looking where, and which one to go for, uh, or go for, not go for, next. Yeah. And it's weird that they're covering each other. Like they're, they're aiming at each other. I don't know. Unless they just expect... That man to walk up behind him. John, basically do it. Yeah. But yeah, behind Monarch Theater, I think we did it in the the last uh, let's play, right? We did the last. We showed it last time. The outlines. Well, this is yeah. Just yeah, we showed the uh, where you can tribute uh, or give tribute to uh, Bruce's dead parents. If you hit a button, he'll like kneel down and uh, like stand there for however long you wish. You can you you can make him move, or you I think you can just stay there forever. It's not recommended for the story, but you know, it happens. And now there are just two dudes on the ground, which are significantly easier to defeat because the snipers. Well, other than that, right there, they generally have tunnel vision, and if you pop up right beside them, they don't even see. Them. I didn't notice that you uh, jammed his gun. I was wondering about that. I was like, is he not, not going to shoot? Wait, uh, before you go in, I uh, remember Clayface's name. Basil Carlo. That's him. That face is Clayface before he had a clay face. I still can't remember what exactly happened to him, but he was an old-timey actor. And, uh, yeah. Used his ability to mimic. Yeah. I don't know. That's not super specific. Let's. You want to go watch Joker the Immortal? I mean, I already bought tickets. You already bought tickets? Yeah. They're really expensive, aren't they? Yeah. Movie tickets now. 
Lord. And, uh, yeah, just to clarify, this is the last part of the story mission of the game. Yeah. The Terror. And that was the movie with Basil Carlo in it. Which is just yet another hint. I as to what's about to happen. Hurry up and take your oh, seat, yeah. Batman. Because he's an old, the he's an old person. The about to begin. Let's just talk about this. No. <laughs> now you want to talk. No, I found out. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, Batman. Batman did have a gun. Give me the cure. Oh, yeah. In the original the Bob Kane Batman, he shot people. He broke people's necks. Oh, yeah. no. oh. Also, notice no blood. That's another hint. Problem solved. Yeah, you didn't need where? to. Why? Yeah. You would never do it. You left me done. no choice. There's always a choice. Is there a choice? I had to say. I think Batman knew. That, yeah. stole it for him. That's why he's not like I super can. mad. Yeah. Or at least he has an idea it's that over. it's not him. Surprise! <laughs> this is Batman's thought process. Ring, ring. So how do you keep a secret from the world's greatest detective? Well, do you know? You stick it right in front of him, right under and his long And there's the card nose. and a copy of the card. Joker I never noticed that before. Well, yeah, me neither. Gotcha. You fell for the old fake Joker gag, Batman. Tell you. And in the spot. I'm sorry, beloved. That's never happened before. Yeah. I didn't know. He has good aim. Oh yeah. He's got practice. I'm good. More. Bravo. <laughs> I love that his it face is all jacked up. You. Not always. Well, sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, and this is uh, isn't it? I know the I fact that he killed Talia. The that's hell is going on I do like that she you. could just go back to the pit. <laughs> yeah, they could just drop her in a pit. She'll be fine. Say, which Rachel Gould will like very these, likely do. It's important to keep up. <laughs> He's not always a big fan of his daughter. <laughs> yeah, I hope he keeps her around. But first, yeah, of course, he'll have to be brought be back. So kind, yeah. hand over my jaw. Hey, Clayface. I wonder why he even waited that long. Because that sword didn't hurt him at all. For one night of standing in for yours truly, I'm doing a damn fine job of it. I give you it's an odd yeah, you can tell it's, it's so old. He's old, so old a person that that was when people Where actually did name their children here, Basil or Basil. Why sign up with Joker? <clears throat> the role of a lifetime. Yeah, and he's still focused on acting. You know, using his skills. Do, well, oh yeah. Chance. Like honestly, he doesn't even have to be a villain. He could just he could just be an actor. Because he doesn't have to necessarily be uh, anyone that he sees. He can make a face out of different people's features. He could be any role he ever wanted. He could literally act in every movie. Like Nicolas Cage. He, he wouldn't have to ever turn down a role. Like Nicolas Cage. I don't like this part. Yeah, where he turns into a ball. You can make him hit him with the bombs, though. Yeah. Those are good. Yeah, where he is, uh, he's basically giant wet clay man. If you throw the freeze blast, it'll slow him down some and hurt him considerably. If you can, if you can throw enough, you uh, what make him brittle, try to shatter him. You might not even need to get to that point. Looks like you're taking him down pretty easy. Boom. And boom goes dynamite. I like how the suit gets muddy. Oh, yeah. Because if you never get hit, there will be no mud. I like that it's interactive like that. Wow, I mean, he's got long arms. Oh yeah, see now he's uh, he's all frozen. What uh, are you doing? 
and Batman, not known to many people, Batman is super well trained in uh, the swords. He's actually really, really good with guns, but he doesn't use them. Uh, he's good at most everything because he's Batman. And, uh, you know, now he's down in the second health bar. Uh, that explosion hit us too, but I mean, that's fine. It's okay. We haven't even uh, upgraded the armor all the way. No, we only have like one gun. So, you know, that's just telling you if you don't uh, upgrade the armor all the way, you can still win the game. Like, it's not necessarily uh, necessary, exactly. But it's helpful. Oh. Yeah. He's down now. Yeah, I mean, you just have to hit him with one or two of those. And go for the uh, sword Don't just again. Stand around. Stop him with a little itty bitty piece. You're making me late for my spa treatment. I mean, it's not like you've got a girl to save anymore, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Too, Too soon. soon. Would a change of scenery help ease the pain? And when during the fight, I did not notice any of those bombs. Did you? No. Now, you'd think, you know, you've already defeated Clayface. It's gonna be a Joker fight, right? Let's see how that goes. But Batman still has the sword, so that's fun. Nope. Clayface. I mean, it's not initially a complaint. I like the fight. It's well done. But... I, was, I still really wanted to punch the Joker in the face, like in a legitimate fight. Because yeah. in Arkham Asylum, you know, if you watched... Yeah, it was in the face fight. It was... Something weird. You gotta throw a ice thing into his face. It's awful. I think he has indigestion. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, you didn't actually get to really satisfyingly punch Joker in the face. Because it's been shown in the comics and other media that... Joker's a, he's good at hand-to-hand -hand combat. Like he's had practice. He's got experience with this. And I think it'd be fun to show that. Show Batman actually. Oh, he's at now. No, no, but show. Uh, well, you kind of do an order. Kind of. Yeah, it's closer than, and I like that. But to show Joker, you know, holding his own on a physical fist combat with Batman, because almost no one can hold their own against Batman. No, normal person. <laughs> not saying the Joker's normal, though. I always like to take out the uh, remaining people, then go. Yeah, because he's, now he's frozen completely. You don't have to... There's no time limit, I don't think, is there? I don't think so. Although there may be. Don't waste too, don't waste too much time if you play. But yeah. That's disgusting. That is nasty. But there's a reason. And that just looks cool. He went and got the cure. He's still melting. I like that. I never noticed. Yeah. There you go. I like how you take just enough to be bad. Yeah, well, and he saves not only some for Joker, but uh, to synthesize for the rest of Gotham. Because Batman doesn't miss. Now this brings up a fun point. Is Clayface immortal now? That's a good point. Because we saw that all the chemicals are they're in there. And when Raish did it, it was activated by electricity. And it, it's all shocky. So. I think it'd be fun. But isn't he kind of anyway? Yeah, kind of. I killed your girlfriend. Poison Gotham in hell. <laughs> it's not even breakfast. It's not breakfast. So it's early in the morning. We all know you'll save me. 
Every decision you've ever made ends with death and Batman's misery. Batman's thinking about letting him die. People die. I stop you. You'll just break out and do it again. <laughs> Think of it as a running. No! You can still take take that. You can probably just lick the floor. Yeah. I like how you can hear he's actually hitting glass too. Like he's trying to lick the glass. Now? Do you want to know something funny? Even after everything you've done. I would have saved you. <laughs> that actually is pretty funny. Not the last time to see that face. No, no. Not last time he makes any noise, though. When I played the first time, this this part, it got me. I wasn't like tearing up or anything, but I was like, I didn't know what was happening. It's like, is he actually he's gone? Because you know, it's really rare for comic book characters to actually be dead. Yeah, and I love this part too. Because at first they were kind of pumped, but now they're scared. And he walks him all the way out. I like how he doesn't say anything. Are you coordinating? I mean, he probably can't. I mean, that's some severe emotional trauma for him too. I'm kind of hoping at night that will play on his psyche. Mm -hmm. What the hell happened? We'll probably see like Joker again. Like yeah, flashback, flashback or whatever. Something. He doesn't Batman. even talk to Gordon. What happened? I like that guy saluted him. Ooh. All right, guys. That was Arkham City. Yeah. Uh, what time is it? It's uh, about two o'clock. I think we still have time. Do you want to go uh, show maybe some of the challenge maps? Okay. I think that could be fun. Cause yeah, that was that was the story. And if you want to watch us uh, finish up the rest of the side missions, or not maybe not all of them, but we'll show you a lot of the side mission stuff. Uh, be sure to watch YouTube. Oh yeah, we've also unlocked the alternative uh, Batman outfits. And new game plus. Yeah, new game plus. It's the same story but it's harder difficulty and um, you still get your gadget yeah you get every gadget from the beginning and if you have the Catwoman DLC you can switch back and forth between Catwoman and Batman at any time just couldn't keep away huh can't say I blame you there's still work to do here in Arkham City good luck with that some enterprising individuals decided to help themselves to my things I intend to get it all back. Yeah, and if you play as Catwoman for her DLC, you can, like, find which thugs have uh, your stuff. And if you get it all, which I did once, and it was, I was super pumped. I was like, what's going to happen? Nothing. Nothing at all. It just ends. So, I can't personally say I recommend finishing out like the end game yeah. for her stuff unless you want 100% completion in which case go for it but personally that bugged me to no end so challenge maps? I think we should do some challenge maps 